I'll battle by and want to be Kojak. Exactly. Just like John Cena, Logan Paul came out there tonight and kind of cooked LA Knight, I'll be honest. Now I'm a big supporter of LA Knight. I think I like his, you know, old school take on wrestling. Uh, but at the same time, you know, especially when he had the chance to do it, he would fly off the freaking third rope doing a moonsault. He's crazy like that. Um, a lot of us are behind LA Knight and we want him to succeed and get a championship and this video is going to be about that man we're going to talk about if this guy can get this championship or not because he didn't get the money in the bank he didn't win against Roman Reigns all that time ago uh, like if he doesn't win this championship against Logan Paul this might be no matter how good he is this might be it for him so I guess Homer uh, what do you think about LA Knight's whole situation and if you caught it, what do you think about this promo, him against Logan Paul? Um, first of all, I want to give a big shout out to the former Eli Drake. Dummy. Um, <laughs> Dummy fake. But, <laughs> but uh, no, in all seriousness, yeah. uh, LA Knight is in a, he has been in a weird position for a minute, right? right? It, it's oh, like mm -hmm. everyone <laughs> wants him. I'm not kidding. Everyone wants him to be uh, a champion, right? First, yeah. they want him to beat Roman Reigns. They want him to win the world championship. None of that's panned out. It is time for this dude to win the belt. Um, I think that there is right now no better person for him to beat than Logan Paul. The reason why is because Logan Paul being the United States champion has brought a lot of eyeballs to WWE. It has brought a lot of hype to WWE. And if whoever ends up beating logan paul they will then get at least a little bit of that attention because people are going to be talking about it like logan paul lost in wwe and who is this guy la knight who beat him right and i think there's an opportunity there to do two things right number one give la knight the moment that we've all wanted him to have before it's too late because there mm -hmm. is a point where it gets to be like you're dolph ziggler yeah we're not anywhere close to being there with la night yet oh, bigger but, like, i can't do this hey 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 well, i'm almost done um uh, but number two though uh is at a certain point we need to be doing something more impactful with the united states championship i understand why they've had it on logan paul i understand the notoriety and name recognition blah 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 but what are we doing like with the, Titles defended like maybe like once, twice, like a month or like in a few months. I like, wish, I wish. For me. Um, I, 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 we need more, right? We need, uh, we want that championship to evolve a little bit, be like that upper mid card championship. You got to put it on an upper mid card to main event talent like LA Knight, in my opinion. There he is hey. with Moxley. Uh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> now, oh, wait, that's Moxley. What the? Why do I always got to come in here and be the voice of reason? Because you guys are saying everybody wants LA Knight to get it. Everybody wants LA Knight to get it. I do not. I don't think LA Knight has it, man. I mean, I just feel like every time I see this man on the mic, everybody says it when they're going like toe-to-toe -to -toe for him in these promo battles. He's just like a watered-down version of The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin, in my opinion. I mean, the guy's like a walking catchphrase, and his catchphrases are his, but they don't really feel like they're his because he's doing them in the style of a rock and stone cold. Now, The Miz kind of did the same thing, but I think The Miz turned himself into The Miz so I can actually respect what he does. LA Knight, the fact that everybody says it in every promo, apparently Vince McMahon didn't want to bring him into WWE because he was too much of a rock and stone cold mid-clone. I mean, it is what it is, and I think that's why he hasn't gotten these belts yet. Is he a WWE champion? Absolutely not. Again, the guy is 41 years old. He's at the tip end of his career. I think if they were going to do it, they needed to do it a long time ago. Now it's, it's too late, unfortunately. We look at the Mike battle here tonight, and he's out there doing his rock stone cold sticks, but... Logan Paul was cooking him, and I'm not really a huge Logan Paul guy, but Logan Paul has been impressive in his wrestling career so far. And standing up in there with LA Knight, I'm like, you know what? Logan Paul is a wrestler now. So I'm not mad that he has a championship. The guy doesn't defend it too often, but, I mean, we see that with the part-time guys a lot. He's at least on TV, though. He's coming on TV doing um, backstage vignettes, even if he's not out there on the stage. So I respect what Logan Paul's doing right now. LA Knight, I mean, I, I just think it's too late for him. 
I, mean, I think Omar said it best. He is a mid card guy, and I think that's where he needs to stay. If he, the only reason he needs to win this belt is if they need to get it off of Logan Paul to send Logan Paul up to the world championship pitcher. Um, otherwise, I mean, LA Knight, he's just a guy in here filling the spot right now. And big ohm. Stop with the Dolph Ziggler hate, y'all. I can't take it. Y'all always do this, y'all. Every time y'all talking about hate. somebody who's not living up to their potential, <laughs> y'all bring up Dolph clear. Ziggler, Before. and I don't like it. Before we give Carol his moment, because he deserves it, I want to be clear. That was not a shot at Dolph Ziggler. That was a shot at WWE's booking of Dolph Ziggler. Just don't mention it. want to be it. clear about that. It hurts. It hurts every time y'all do it. It hurts. <laughs> hey, man, blame Vince, not me. Well, okay. I think you guys pretty much nailed it in, in the head. Again, in the beginning of the video, I said it, I'll say it right here too. I'm a big supporter of LA Knight. I like him a lot. I want him to, to be something. But that was up until Money in the Bank. After that, first of all, I lost my kind of faith in the WWE booking. Like they see him in a certain light and that's just what it's going to be. I mean, like after losing to Roman Reigns for many, many months, like we were saying, the only thing he can do to remain as biggie as biggie is right or to be you know perceived as a main event or he has to take that money in the bank so that he can do something interesting with it he lost and he didn't even particularly like lose that match in an interesting manner he was just thrown over the top rope hit a ladder boom you're out of there they didn't even give him a special story moment um i thought he was not going to be in the match at all because he had the storyline with logan so the whole thing was weird and here's the thing uh, let me talk about logan real quick i think logan and feel free to you know harp on me on the comments for this cancel me on the comments for this it feels like roman reigns to me because back Ooh. back in the day well not that far obviously while roman reigns had the championship every time you showed up especially towards the end of his run well not the very end with the rock because then he was kind of asinine there, not doing much but before the rock man every time this guy showed up returned to smackdown it was something interesting and i gotta say the same thing for logan paul his matches are interesting simply because like oh he had, didn't have too many wrestling matches so like based off of that you want to see how he does then he has his brash personality and kenny i agree with you on the fact that he cooked kind of like he cooked la night on the mic the whole promo i was waiting for something from la night and he did have a one or two decent lines there but not like when logan paul said you're basically a rock clone he couldn't say anything and the crowd reacted like pretty pretty loudly to that too like they were like oh shoot and mm -hmm. la felt like very very much like i guess a swear strickland to me before he was getting Ooh. this confidence as a champion before omer don't cook me yet like he doesn't feel confident you know what i mean like why why backstage segment he was great uh, but this uh face to face with logan that mic like hey man if you want to be a top guy you got to be able to hang on the microphone especially if your idol is the rock stone cold like i expect you to be better you know like um I, I yeah. want to root for this guy, but just, what he showed tonight was was weak. Can I just say one thing about like the whole oh, oh he sounds like the Rock or whatever? Or, like, we, I think like we look at that right as if it's a knock, right? Because people want to say like, oh my God, like this wrestler is like taking thing from X wrestler. When the reality is right. This has been going on in entertainment, in boxing, in wrestling for like hundred, like over a hundred years, right? Because look, go back and look at what Dusty Rhodes was saying. He took stuff from Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali took stuff from Gorgeous George, right? The inspiration has always been there coming from different places. And that's always going to be the case. It's something that Punk and, and, and even like The Rock said, like, yeah, you know, like, I got inspiration and, and, and took it from Deion Sanders. Like, like, like these things o always happen. And like, it's good in my view for people to take inspiration from people in the past without being a parody. And I think we can all agree. LA Knight has taken the cadence. Like the cadence is just his natural cadence. Like it, it is what it is. It sounds like the rock. Yeah. He but just naturally sounds like say that he's taken grew up as a fan. I, think, I mean, that's where it came What's from. Up? I'm saying he grew up is. as a fan, yeah. And but like it's not, but I think a lot of people, and I'm not saying you you can't even like there are gonna be a lot of people who look at that and be like, oh, he's just like a parody, or he's just like like it's me. a watered down version of that. He's a different character. <laughs> that's me. He's like a different character. Oh, that's you. But 
yeah, but I feel like when you got The Rock actually in there right now, you can't have The Rock and The Rock Light on, like, these doing these things at the same time because it kind of, like, L.A. Knight, I mean, he's good. I, he's good on the mic. I will say that, like, um, he usually does exude confidence, but I did feel like Logan Paul shook him a bit. But, I mean, I mean, when you got The Rock out there, like, what do y'all like to say? The aura just spilling and oozing all over the place. Logan, I mean, um, Eli Drake. LA Knight, his just doesn't come close. <laughs> yeah, my thing with him is that like every time he cuts a promo, I see him stuttering, forgetting the, to say the line, and then he recovers all the time. You know, it's good when mm -hmm. he's, um, he's being natural out there. That's obvious. But again, I just want that extra fire. Like I, I listen to the man and I'm listening for a banger of a line and it never really comes with LA Knight. While Logan Paul came out there and again, like he held his own, like uh, felt like uh, John Cena Little to me right there you know when he cooks roman reigns and oh, yeah. other you know superstars let's say or wrestlers that are not so great on the microphone <laughs> mm -hmm. but yeah i mean i'm not saying la night is bad by the way i don't care about the comparisons to the rock no but i want la night this version to be to be cooking to be more than what it is right now that's my uh that's my i guess criticism of him now we're never now we're never <laughs>